This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Lisa Smith. Here's a look at today's top stories. 7th Avenue at Sycamore Street downtown is back open now after a two car crash shut down the intersection. This happened just before 4 o'clock this morning with one car ending up in a nearby parking lot. We know at least one person had to be cut free from the wreckage. That person is at UC Medical Center. There is no word yet on the condition of the other driver. There's also no word on what caused the crash. An early morning fire damages a home in Lincoln Heights. It started just after 2.30 this morning on the front porch of a house on Prairie Avenue. Investigators say that fire then spread into the home's interior. Multiple agencies were called in to safely put it out. The cause is still under investigation, but we're told no one was inside at the time and no one was hurt. Turning to the coronavirus, Ohio health leaders reported nearly 21,000 new COVID cases over the Christmas weekend. The state didn't release new numbers yesterday, so this is a two day count. Throughout the pandemic, new cases have tended to drop on weekends. But last week, Ohio broke several new records for case totals. Friday was the second highest count yet at more than 14,000 cases. The Hamilton County Board of Elections is also planning to meet later this morning. It'll be held in the County Board of Elections boardroom at 830. We'll be sure to let you know the key topics discussed in that meeting later this evening, starting on WCPO 9 News at 4. Taylor. A rainy start to your Monday morning as you head out the door. We'll see temperatures in the mid 50s by 8 o'clock, 55 degrees. Then as we head into the afternoon, we will see that rain moving out of the area and we'll see overcast skies. Today, a high of 68 and cloudy showers early today and above normal temperatures continue this week.